battling breast cancer that a lot of other people might not know about or even think about how to go out and still feel confident after you've gotten a mastectomy. That's right, and Megan Sullivan, who's here with us, started a Kickstarter campaign to help her build a more comfortable and stylish piece of clothing for women who've undergone the life-changing surgery, and she joins us now. Thank Hi, you Megan. for being Thank here. Thank you so much for having me. So tell us a little bit about how you got into making these garments and why. Yeah, absolutely. So um, when I was nine years old, my mom was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. Um, it had spread to her lymph nodes, so her surgery was quite extensive. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't until later in life when I was a young woman, I was actually in college, um, I was in my third year of my program, and I was really searching per for purpose within fashion design. And it was sort of this, I call it this epiphany moment, like this light bulb moment of, oh my gosh, you know, my mom went through breast cancer. I really sat down with her and asked her um, her struggles and kind of her pain points throughout her treatment. And she kept bringing up this drain that she wore home from the hospital. And it was sort of, you know, I questioned her. I'm like, you went through chemotherapy, you went through radiation, and you keep bringing up this drain that you had to wear home from the hospital. And it was so significant to her that hmm. for me as a fashion designer, it was like, I have to do something about this. I mean, it was sort of every emotion ran through my body of kind of, I was angry and I was, you know, just driven to really find a solution to this problem. How long did she have to have the drain and how did that affect her clothing? Yeah. You know, her ability to be mobile and, and leave the house and do what she wanted to do. Yeah, so she actually, her drain was only in for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, but, and that again. That forever though, yeah. right, going through it. Does. it. And again, that's, that's one of the reasons I questioned her is because since she only had that in for a few weeks, I mean, she had nine rounds of chemo, mm -hmm. but that drain was so impactful to her, right. even during that short amount of time that you come home from the hospital you feel like you've completely lost control of your entire situation and now you can't wear any of your clothes yeah. um, and it's so beyond just um, the physical ailment it's that you can't reach your hands over your head um, you know she would have to complete exercises where she would try to get her, her hand to a certain point on the wall and it you can't wear any of the clothes yeah. that you currently own right so how do these garments help solve that problem. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I have with me, this is what I call the Anne Elizabeth. It's actually named after her. Oh, that's sweet. Um, okay. And so the way this works, so um, like I said, there are several mobility issues sure. um, that right. are especially impactful for women. So um, one of them being that they can't put their hands over their head. So um, it's very important to have clothing that buttons or somehow wraps around the front. So um, it closes at the shoulder with two snaps. Oh, nice. It opens this way. Um, it's lined. So this lining actually helps to stabilize the garment so that it offsets the weight of the drain. Mm -hmm. um, it actually ties on the inside here which allows for sort of a custom fit so that she can tie it where it's comfortable and then on the inside here you'll see there's, uh, there's yeah the perfect there's the, pocket. there's the drain pocket yeah you see this right and so here? when you're talking about a drain just so people may get a visual yeah it's kind of like a tube that's connected to the body but you know that's coming out a little bag right? yeah that, exactly yeah, that's where the pocket where you could put that yes so the the drain itself is actually a bulb so um, it's rubber and it never okay. collapses so it always stays in its shape um, and I actually sized this pocket so that it fits it snugly um, so she can easily and comfortably get it in and out of the pocket. And this looks like something anybody could wear. Well, are there other garments yeah. that you've come up with or just this idea? Um, so ac actually I have a whole collection designed. That's oh. one of the reasons I'm on wow. Kickstarter is to really, um, th these are the staple pieces I call them. Okay. Um, I have another piece as well called the Eileen, which is the exact same garment. It's just absent of the drain pocket, um, which is really great for women who want to support the brand. I had a lot of the surgeons that I've worked with. Um, I've worked very closely with breast centers. The surgeons really wanted something to wear to support their patients and support Aww. the cause. That's I've had women great. come to me asking for that, so I have the same garment designed without the pocket. I was looking at your Kickstarter page, and we'll put that up in just a second if you want to you know, get in on this yeah. because you need people to contribute uh, before you can actually make these garments. I but I was reading that somebody, you know, somebody said, I want to be able to give somebody something after surgery, you know, because you always want to do something, but you're not quite sure what to do, and this would be such a great item to give. Absolutely. And we have that Kickstarter uh, campaign. You can find it at local12.com. We'll have a link there for you. What does your mom think, Megan? <laughs> she um, she's told me, you know, as far as pride goes for a mother to a daughter, <laughs> she said she can't be more proud. But honestly, um, it's my mom and I are so close, and I know being, you know, like I said, a young woman and imagining going through this myself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I everyone I talk to knows someone who's been impacted by breast cancer, yeah. whether it's a mother, a sister. My mom so. too. My mom too. So oh we're in gosh. that sisterhood, mm -hmm. Megan. Thank you for your work. Please support her. Kickstarter campaign so she can make this for right. women everywhere. Yeah, yeah. we have that on local12.com. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>